uh, you've picked out the story on the front page of The Observer, um, Sully Khan calling for uh, another referendum on Brexit. Yes, yeah, speaking to The Observer, he is um, joining this new bandwagon. There's been much, uh, much um, more kind of vocal um, calling for this uh, this people's vote, and he's uh, he thinks that um, you know the idea that we've either got the checkers deal, Chuck Checkers, um, or, or no deal at all isn't a good enough option. So he's calling for a um, second referendum in which those two options, plus um, remaining in the EU, um, are, are put to the British people. Um, the thing is, we've had this question to the British people already, and the British people have voted. What he's actually suggesting, and what the people's vote is suggesting, is kind of two leave options and one remain option. I'm not brilliant at mathematics, but if the country's already 50-50 and you have two leave options, of course, you're just splitting the leave vote. I mean, I think, for, for, to, my, to my point of view, whichever way you voted, you have to uphold um, the kind of democratic um, view of the, the people. And I, I feel very cross that there are people like Tony Blair and uh, John Major, Nick Clegg, going around Europe, doing this kind of shuttle uh, diplomacy, trying to... They're not elected... Uh, they're not accountable. Um, you know, they're, they're quite entitled to their view, though. They're entitled to their view, but they're actually kind of going and speaking to European leaders behind the backs of the British people. I just think this is very uh, bad for democracy, really. Um, what, what the Observer comments is this is actually quite bad for Jeremy Corbyn because yeah. Sadiq Khan, being such a powerful um, member of the Labour Party, um, you know, um, he's put now putting the pressure on Jeremy yeah, Corbyn. Yeah, I mean, the most senior member to, to, to say this to at, say at this, this point. Uh, staying with politics.